I was going to do this video earlier today, <clears throat> but uh, just never found the time to get around to it. And uh, you know, I wanted to put some sort of ideas together. I like the idea of you know organization sort of makes sense a little bit. You know that um, people with common interests would organize. Um, I had experience with some organizations and. You know, I don't know why it just doesn't work. I mean, people, <coughs> everybody needs too much control. Everybody's, you know, nobody does the work they're going to do. All this stuff, blah blah blah. Um, so whatever. I mean, I'm, you know, it doesn't hurt to try some more. <laughs> you know, I don't know what the history of this was before. I know some effort was made and it failed, and there was too much, you know, too many personalities, whatever. So, um, <coughs> you know, I was kind of thinking, you know, the idea of putting up a web. Site isn't that much thought of one that's sort of you know relates to other website I've had but anyway it's it's um, it will be you know uh, do not God dot com and um, well, anyway you know from my way I would look at it is is that maybe if we do something that's sort of modular in its design you know something that has different sections that are controlled by different people then maybe we can avoid factional problems because I mean I think you know there probably isn't too many sites on the general idea of theism you know there's obviously because the factions you know are always killing each other um, then they don't get along so why would they you know they probably can't do anything collectively and hopefully we can do better than that but I'm just saying just in case we can't do better than that maybe we should create a structure that's got some kind of fail-safe built into it where you know if one part fails another part can still survive um, <clears throat> so I, I was hoping I'd put together a better list than this you know I just kind of thought of things off you know, the top of my head just to try to think of what might make it more functional and um, I was sort of thinking it might be nice if we could do video reviews like we could have a group of people, like say there was a dozen of us or whatever the number is, and we'd all be assigned a certain, like say if there's 2,000, you know, atheism related um, YouTube channels, um, that we could just, you know, maybe do a, the search or whatever on the word atheist or whatever the thing would be, and there would be 2,000 results, and each one person would be assigned, you know, a group of a hundred of those channels and they would you know go to the trouble to look it over look over some of the stuff's content and um, review it you know so people know what they can do to, to expect and what they might be interested in because you know obviously the, the, the Google system or the whole internet system of you know popularity breeding popularity doesn't necessarily get you um, exposure to what might be little what you might consider the gold that's out there. There's a lot of gold that's yet undiscovered, and uh, you know, and, and because this, you know, the popularity thing. Just once you have popularity, how do you actually lose it? You know, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. That's that's sort of the flaw in the system is that you know, you become popular enough, you could just sit here and pick your nose, and you'd still get 2,000 views. You know, I mean, there's just no. It's kind of hard to fail once you get to the to the top of the mountain. So, but whatever, that's a whole other issue. But the point of just having some sort of better information than a few stupid keywords, uh, you know, to to understand what somebody's about, you know, and, uh, I think would be helpful to have some, like I said, some broader, somebody who's willing to do a little bit of work, you know, and, ex you know, put context to these names that, you know, don't mean too much. Um, sorry, I'm going on, you know, I thought this would be like a three-minute video and I'm already you know, screw that. Um, the other thing was, um, you know, subject organization. I mean, it, you know, there's lots of videos on subjects, and then they're all over the place, though. There's four-month-old ones, and three-month-old, and this one, and that. I mean, they're all over. They're categorized and, you know, separated, just made distinct, so that, you know, on certain subjects, you could find the content you're looking for. Um, uh, the other thing I thought <coughs> would be nice is if, you know, I don't know who's involved in this or who's doing what, I don't know nothing about it, but 
maybe one of you could make a video explaining what's already in place. I mean, you say you got some people, you got this, or you got that. What do you already got? I mean, just, you know, maybe you have some sort of listing of what's already, I mean, do you have a domain name? Do we have a website? What, what's, what's, is there something going on already? Um, you know, helps to know. Um, and then the uh, last thing is the idea of the, um, having some sort of mechanism for maybe working on some collective projects, you know, where s some of us can get together and maybe, you know, write a scripted presentation video, um, you know, that, that, you know, do something that's l a little more marketable, a little, a little slicker than the, you know, obviously I'm not putting much effort into my videos lately. Um, you know, I hope to do better, you know, as I get past the addiction part where now I'm just reading and listening to a lot of videos and it's just sucking up a lot of time. And so once I get past that, you know, maybe I'll have more time to put into, you know, actually, you know, producing something besides just talking. Um, but, you know, it'd be, you know, we all have like different skills, we all have different attitudes, different personalities, all that kind of stuff. And maybe we collectively, you know, we, we could take all of our strengths and put them together and, and do something, you know, you know, almost like write our own South Park episode or whatever it would be, but just to do something kind of creative and slick that would be a good uh, marketing kind of mechanism where, you know, you really could gain some popularity. Um, yeah, on the subject of popularity, I'm not too, I'm not too keen on the idea of, you know, creating a website for the purpose of, you know, going back on YouTube and, you know, trying to artificially popularize, you know, videos and all that kind of stuff because, I, I mean, I know you got to game the system because that's the way the system rules are built, but, you know, I, I, I'm not too comfortable with that kind of stuff just because, you know, if, if we're always trying to beat systems, then we're never going to build systems that work because we're just always, it's just going to be run by the people who know how to beat them. Um, you know, so there's got to be some sort of, everything's got to have a little bit of integrity. And if we're always trying to find ways of getting around the system, then, you know, I don't think that does us any good. So anyway, I think, you know, kept it under 10 minutes this time. Amazing. Um, and so that was just basically with my thoughts off the top of my head. Uh, like I said, I'm, uh, I've, I've, you know, what people have commented in other videos and whatnot. I've looked at some of your stuff and, you know, you, you you all seem to have a passion for this, and and um, I, you know I'm certainly interested. I don't like I don't know, I don't know how much time I can devote. I don't know how how much of a contribution I can make, but yeah, I'm willing to try something. What the hell?